kind of like when you meet your wife or your husband or your spouse or your partner or whatever. It's like, yeah, we met as a friend and now we've been together for 10 years. This is my 10th year teaching at the U of I. Hi, I'm Professor Mark Walters. I'm a teaching associate professor at the Geese College of Business here at the University of Illinois, and I teach Bottom 320, which is Principles of Marketing, which is the introductory marketing course that all business students have to take. And I also teach Bottom 395, which is social media marketing. A little bit more advanced stuff, but really focused on social media marketing. So if you want to be a YouTuber, or you want to be big on Twitch, or if you want to just work with a company in their social media, that course is designed to help you there. This is going to sound really corny, but I enjoy teaching every course I've ever taught. In life, it's always great if you have something you're passionate about, and that can be your career. Like, I get up in the morning, and my wife, going back to the family thing, always complains. Like, you wake up like like a squirrel that just found a nut. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to work. And this, remember, I have 8 a.m. classes in the spring, and this, I'm still like, hey, what's going on, everybody? Because it's something I'm really passionate about. Actually, I'm a U of I grad, and years ago, I was walking in the graduate library, just, I can see it right over there, and I was walking through the hallways, and I remember, I, I was a business student, and I was thinking to myself, do I want to get into education, and switch to the College of Education, or stay in business? I can probably travel more in business, and we can figure it out later, and, and after I finished my master's degree, I, I did that in Germany, and after I finished it, there was an opportunity to go teach, you know, as a volunteer in Lithuania, and I'm like, wait, I can teach business? as a volunteer, integrate the business and education together. I was in Lithuania for three and a half years teaching there, doing consulting, and then I went to Brazil and did some teaching, and I'm like, look, this is something I'm really passionate about. I, I need to do a PhD. I want to be a professor, I want to work at big universities, and help out as many students as I can. And so then I ended up going to Portugal and doing my PhD there. And so I lived in Portugal for five years, got my PhD, and was lucky enough to get a job here at the U of I to come back and, and teach where I actually you know, grew up, where I became a marketing student. I mean, it's kind of like when you meet your wife or your husband or your spouse or your partner or whatever, it's like, yeah, we met as a friend and now we've been together for 10 years. This is my 10th year teaching at the U of I. Some people actually know me not for my teaching, but actually from a travel blog and a travel vlog I run on YouTube called Walter's World. It really focus on uh, honest travel advice. It's all about, look, this is what you really need to go there. Like I always make these jokes that you don't see drone footage, you don't see me doing backflips and this stuff. You see me giving you honest travel advice. And that's where Walter's World came out. And so my wife and I started, you know, and this started before I was married. We started doing these videos to really help people. It's like, look, if you want to go, if you're a solo traveler, you're a study abroad student, if you're a family, you want to go, you want to know what you need to know before you go, we're there to help. Because one of the things for me is I want people to enjoy travel anywhere around the world. And I saw all these blogs and vlogs, and it was just basically, you could tell, or at least I felt, it's like you obviously got paid to say this is your favorite town in Mexico because you said that in five videos. Over the years, I've lived in a number of countries, and the thing is, is travel impacts everybody. Living abroad impacts everybody. And I know for me, kind of the biggest things that impacted me was just meeting people all over the world. And I've taught in China, I've taught in Belgium, I've taught in South America, I've taught all over the place. And, and learning that people in general are actually all pretty much the same. I mean, there's good people everywhere in the world. And, and when you start working with them and you work in these places and you see things, we all go through the same struggles. Like we all go through, I mean, don't get me wrong. Everyone likes, you know, the internet. Everybody likes to watch their TV and stuff like that. But everyone also hates the cable company. Because you know what? Getting cable, whether you're in Illinois or you're in Lithuania or you're in Brazil, it sucks, sucks, and sucks. Don't think, well, Midwest, I mean, there, there's nothing there. Well, there actually is stuff you can see around here. There are places you can go. And now with COVID, you know, I'm not going abroad. We're traveling all around the U.S. We went out to Wyoming, Nebraska, Idaho, Montana, South Dakota. We're doing that. We're going to do a trip to Texas, Arkansas, uh, Louisiana, Mississippi. We're going to still travel around. There's still things to see. Like, oh, you're some hick from the Midwest. I'm like, yeah, yeah, you know what? You, anybody can see the world. Some students, biology is for me. Some students, literature is for me. Some, videography is for me. Find what's right for you. It's not about me, it's about you, the student. This kind of overall you know, teaching philosophy I have, that's what I try to do in my classes.